Hey guys, for those of you who don't know me, new to our page, I am Mama Bell, mom to eight kids. Well, I normally do a weekly menu board, but because of the holidays and the craziness, I have been very, very bad at it. So, time to get the menu board going. So I've been really bad about doing the, the menu, the weekly menu. I was actually doing good until the holidays. And so I have to show you guys. So I picked up these chalk markers. So in the past, I've actually done like the brand, you know, like the brand they have for chalk markers. So I picked this up, it was like, I don't know, $9. And look at these beautiful colors. And I tried them out and they are so, like look at how springy. So today I'm gonna use the white one, the yellow one and the purple one because um, it is snowing right now, but it has been so nice and so warm and but I feel like I need like the sunny like springy stuff and so um you know I, I I haven't done the menu board just because I wasn't able to like commit to a menu and I didn't want to like write down the menu not be able to do it and during the holidays you know you're so busy like you're having party after party after party so many leftovers so you're eating basically I think all of um December and half of January we ate appetizers like literally our our meals were appetizers. I was grabbing the little sausages that were left over, the pizza rolls, and like all of Christmas and New Year's Eve, it was basically appetizers, charcuterie, like sausage and cheeses and fruits. It wasn't even a real meal. I mean, I got like a little meal into that. And I was actually telling Haley today, I said, you know what, I gotta get back to my cooking. I have so many ideas and I, and I wanna get back cooking on my page. We've been sharing a lot of um, like our traditions and the holidays, but now I feel like I need to get my recipes going again. And so I picked up these markers, I'm super excited. And I actually hung my board a little lower because I don't wanna to have to keep taking it down every single time I ride on it. And I thought, okay, this, you know, I can write here, I can reach it. And then when I clean it, you know, I don't have, I mean, I might have to take it down to clean it, but we'll just test it out. I got it in my new Mama Bell's Cafe. It's super funny because uh, just a little story before we get going. So I was talking to Gideon and he's back at school and he forgot his Bible and a couple things. So he messaged me. He's like, mom, I, I forgot my Bible. Can you find it? So I did. And he called me. He's like, hey, did you get that stuff sent out? I said, well, I can't find it. I don't know. And he goes, it's in your cafe. And I go, my what? He goes, your new cafe you built us to eat in. <laughs> and I was like, or you put together. I'm like, oh yeah. And it was just like the sweetest thing because now my kids actually call the dining room mama's cafe. And they're like, are we going to eat in the cafe? Um, is my Bible in the cafe? My husband even is like, hey, did you find my coat? I think it was in like your cafe. And I'm like, oh, yes. So this this is officially Mama Bell's cafe. It's super exciting. But yeah, I just, I haven't been able to commit. And I don't want to put something down and not be like truthful with it. You know what I'm saying? And so it's blank because we've barely eaten meals. Like I have made meals, but it's just, you know, I haven't had time to like share them with you guys. I've been going live. Um, I try and go live once a week. And I'm not sure this week what I'm going to do yet for you guys for for a, a live cooking video. I'm just kind of in, it's turning. I, I just, I'm trying to get my life back together from the holidays. I'm trying to get my pantry all organized because I'd love to show you guys my newly renovated pantry. We built a couple shelves and we've organized and cleaned it. And I want to show you my storage area. You guys are going to be like, oh my goodness. So I just want to tell you before I show you my storage area, you will be shocked. There's a lot in there, but this is why. I am a memory girl. I don't throw anything away. I have a lot of the clothes my kids had when they were little. I have every single toy. I know you guys are thinking, do you really? Yes. I have every single toy my kids have played with. All their Transformers, all their Legos, all their Weeble Wobbles, um, the My Little Ponies, the, um, let's see, Izzy played with um, a Lala Loopsie. I have all that because I'm a girl that uh, memories, lots of memories. And so I keep everything. So I have bins of toys, clothes when they were little, their memories from high school. I, I made them each a, a bin. That's all of their stuff. Like um, when there was a football game, I kept the little, you know, sh the shows who's on the team. I have all that, the report cards, the pictures they made, letters they sent us, things they made for me and my husband. It's all in memory bins. I literally have a bin, no lie, this big, and it's all full of cards. Cards our kids have gave us, cards our grandparents who aren't with us gave us, cards of my husband's great grandma that's not with us, my great grandma that's not with us, our parents from my, oh, I think I said my kids, Christmas cards from our families, aunts and uncles. I mean, my sisters and brothers, his sister and brothers, I've kept all of them. I even have all the cards that my kids got when they were 
adopted or born. And I'll show you guys. I swear I'm not lying. And then I have all, of course, my holiday bands. I just don't throw anything away because, like, for example, um, I paint a lot. I change up the windows. I change up the curtains. Right now I have no curtains. I have every shower curtain that I've ever had since we got married. I wash them and I fold them because what if I go back to that color? I already have the curtain. I don't have to buy it. I don't keep the rugs because rugs can kind of be yucky. But I do have, um, I keep the paint just in case I want to do a project. I mean, I just... I just don't want to throw things away because you never know. I have um, like four bedspreads because I like to put one on for the holidays and one for the summer and one for fall. And sometimes I'll paint to go with that, you know. And so I, I just keep things. I just don't, I just, you just never know if you're going to reuse them. And I have, I've reused curtains. I've reused uh, shower curtains and curtains to hang up. Um, I have a couple set of dishes. I've brought the recently, I've brought other dishes up because we have so many people. And, and so that's just me. I just, I, you just never know when you'll need it. And just like my kids stuff, I just have, I have toys and baby stuff and, you know, and I was actually looking at the bins with the clothes and I'm like, I know my kids aren't going to use them, but I just, I'm not ready to like give that memory to somebody else yet. And I see them and it just, I can look at an outfit for my kids when they're little and I know exactly when I got it, where we got it, where we went with it. Like I can picture right now, David had the cutest little onesie snap up. It was stripes, navy, green, and blue. And I remember I got that because we we're going to my mom's house. And we went to the zoo with my grandparents. Like I just, I know that might seem a little weird, but I, I'm i just a memory girl. That's how, that's who I am. So when you guys see my pantry in my storage area, you're going to be like, <coughs> but I, I, don't, I don't throw things away. I'm a memory girl. And I don't, I, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I, I don't think I've ever done a video where I haven't stuttered like 14 times. Just like the decorations. Um, I'll just pass them on to my kids. Like I had dishes that my kids had all got me these dishes and I kept my other ones because I knew my kids would want them. And then the boys moved in. I gave them a set. Haley moved in. I gave her a set and silverware and Tupperware. And it just makes sense to me like couches. I literally have four sets of couches. We have one in here, one in there. No, three because I gave one away to a family who needed it. And then one at the boys' house. And I just keep them because like, Haley's Izzy's graduating. What if she had, needs a place and she has no furniture? So I have an extra table that's in the storage and I have that couch in the game room that I can just give her. It just, it just doesn't make sense to me. I know my kids are going to need it. And so you guys are probably thinking she's crazy or you're thinking she's smart, which is it crazy or smart, crazy or smart. So anyway, so we're going to put the menu together. Um, a couple days have already gone by and, but that's okay. So Sunday and Monday is done. So I'm just going to share with you what we ate, what I'm going to be making today and go through it. And so in the comments, if you'd like to see me make a dinner, put it in the comments. And so the next week when I get on here, we're going to go through the dinner again, kind of tell you how things are going. Um, I have to share another little story when you guys are like, get on with the recipes. Well, I have to share you another little story. So um, the cookbook was turned in last week. Well, for some reason, I forgot a whole chapter. I thought I had turned it in. So my agency was about to turn in the cookbook and she's like, we're missing a chapter on Izzy. And I'm like, are you sure? I had edited it, but I didn't add the different things they wanted me to do. And so that night I couldn't sleep because I'm like, I got to get this done. I was up till literally 3.30 in the morning doing my cookbook. I went to bed and it was a full moon, so I couldn't sleep. But I knew that I had to get it done. So of course it was on my mind. I immediately woke up in the morning, sat down at the table, finished it in the morning. I was at the table till noon. She, what well, was like 11, 1130, almost noon. She walks in and I'm tired. Let me tell you, I'm tired. She walks in, she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm exhausted. I'm just exhausted. She's like, oh my goodness, mom. I said, I think I'm just gonna grab some tea and go lay on my bed and watch a show. I was literally exhausted. She's like, well, what can I do for you? So my daughter Haley cleaned my kitchen. She did all my laundry, cleaned the entryway closet because Gideon's gone and we're kind of moving like clothes around. And so she cleaned that one. She came in and I was, I was out. I was, well, first she made me breakfast and then she brought me a treat because she made this apple dip on Sunday, amazing. And then she came in and I was absolutely asleep and she's like, she's like, I kept checking on you and I'm like, wow, she's really tired. So she made dinner for everybody. Stayed until like 7.30, 8 o'clock, made dinner, cleaned up the kitchen. Well, actually her and Izzy cleaned up the kitchen. I woke up at like 9.30. I was exhausted. Came downstairs. Izzy was finishing up the dishes. Everything was put away. 
it was just so sweet. And then Noah and I could hear, like, you know, you can hear people come in. So my kids were checking on me. And so then Noah came in before he went to bed. He's like, mom, do you need anything? Can I get you some tea or some water? I'm like, yeah, that would be great. So he gave me a hug and he gave me tea and water before he went to bed. And so then I came down at like 10, watched a little bit of TV with my husband, went back to bed and then woke up the next morning. So I feel really good today, but I'm telling you, it was kind of rough, but my, my Haley like came in clutch. She was just so sweet. And so that's why on Monday she made burgers because mama was like out, like out. But that was, that was so sweet of her. So, okay. So enough rambling. Let's get on with the menu. Our meal on Sunday was our big burger bar and Detroit had a chance. They had a chance. But as a Detroit Lions fan, we're just very, we're just very disappointed still. Very disappointed. So that was our huge burger bar, right? Alright, so it's our huge burger bar. And then we had a bunch of sides with it. So for our burger bar, we did the cheeseburgers. We also got some coleslaw and potato salad and mac and cheese. And I didn't make my famous mac and cheese because I'm tired. This is like my fifth or fourth weekend in a row that I've had to put together a big meal for the football games. And I told my husband, I said, I'm tired. So I bought everything. And then Haley made a wonderful apple dessert. Everybody keeps asking for the recipe. So I'm going to share that recipe in the comments. It was so easy. It's like two blocks of cream cheese, two containers of Cool Whip. She added some vanilla and then mix that together. And then she did caramel on top. And so it calls for Heath, but she knows a lot of people in her family don't like Heath. And so instead she ended up doing the Reese peanut butter cups, which was amazing. And then I made a from scratch cheesecake that I'll also put, I actually did that one on live on Facebook. So if you want that recipe or you want to see me make it, it's over on my Facebook live, but I will also put that recipe in here. And then my mother-in-law, who is an amazing baker, she made chocolate bars, an apple bar dip. She also made, um, I made uh, my chocolate chip muffins and she also made something else. I can't remember some kind of sticky bun something and so that was kind of everything we did for um the game and there really wasn't much left so the boys had lunch today so I kind of revamped the mac and cheese and added like some spices and cheeses they finished the burgers off the potato salad I think the coleslaw is completely gone um there's something else we had too that was really that was oh and I made a the Applebee's avocado dip amazing like it's not like theirs I kind of did my own twist so I'll also put that, that recipe in. I made two big ones and ooh, it's super yummy. So that was for Sunday. So for Monday, that was when I wasn't feeling too good. <laughs> and I was just really, really tired from being up doing my cookbook. And so my daughter Haley made us, um, she actually grabbed more burger out, made more burgers. And so for Monday, my Haley, made burgers and she used the leftovers. All right, so that's what we had for Monday. So I'm gonna say Monday is leftovers, but I have to give her credit because she seen that I was not feeling good and took it upon herself to pull everything out, revamp stuff, and just, and they cleaned up the kitchen. Oh, that's like double brownie points when you clean up the kitchen for mom. And so, yeah, I do have my other two here, but we don't decorate the board till the end. So that is Monday. So for today, I'm actually making a ham with potatoes and carrots. Now my family loves ham. They love ham. They love it better than turkey. They absolutely love ham. My Brendan and Haley, ham every single day. And I thought, you know what? We only eat ham like once a year, right? Or twice a year. So it's Easter. And, think, and Christmas, because we always have a turkey on Thanksgiving because that's what they say you have to do. But they love, love ham and I thought, you know what? Let's start bringing in those foods that we only eat once a year and let's like start eating them. And so I told Haley, I said, how about I make a ham for tomorrow? Plus, because of all she did for me the day before, I had to pay her back. And so for Tuesday, which is today, I am making a ham with some creamy potatoes. I'm gonna add like some garlic. And I think I might mash them, I'm not sure. And then I'm gonna add some carrots. 
And then I'm gonna do a dessert. Okay, um, so I'm gonna do that. I might make like a, a creamy garlic mashed potato where you can actually cook the you can actually cook the potatoes in the the cooker with the ham. And the ham's already cooked, right? It's smoked, so it doesn't take hours. So I'm gonna throw the potatoes in there. I might keep some in there because some of my family likes to just smush them down and add butter and a little bit of like it's not really gravy. It's like ham juices. And um, I like to put carrots in there. That's my favorite is when you put carrots in like a roaster pan. I could eat those all day. So we're gonna do carrots and then I'm gonna try and make a dessert. Um, if not, I think we're gonna eat my mother-in-law's uh, chocolate bars because for some reason nobody ate them and I think it's because we had so much. So either I'm gonna make just a small dessert, like maybe a pudding dessert, or I'm gonna just use her bars because they are absolutely amazing. So this is what's gonna be on for Tuesday. Also with the dessert, when me and my husband first got married, I would make him like a four course meal with dessert because I thought that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to make dinner and then have a dessert, right? Well, I didn't realize that um, you don't have to do that. And so finally, after like a couple weeks, maybe even three weeks, he goes, you know, you don't gotta make dessert after the meal all the time. I'm like, you don't? I thought that's just what you do. And he's like, no. Cause I think he's seen how hard I was working trying to put together the most beautiful, perfect um, meals for him. And I, and I think, he loved it, but I think he felt bad because I was trying to make it so perfect. And it was just, I think when I got married, I just had this unrealistic view of what dinner should be like. He should have never said that because now I never make desserts. But I think it's time to bring in desserts again. Okay, so for tomorrow, which would be Wednesday, um, I'm gonna be making a taco pie. I'm gonna be making a cast iron taco pie. So what you do is you make a crust and you make all the fillings like you would if you were doing a taco. And it's like a big old huge pie. So the goal of the taco pie is you should be able to cut into it and pull the piece out like a pie, like a fruit pie. And I'm gonna make it in my cast iron pan because my cast iron pan goes a long way. Um, I do have a wonderful recipe for a from scratch crust. I'm not sure if I'm gonna just use a ready-made crust or if I'm gonna do that. But the inside is gonna be just like, like a pie, but it's gonna be layers of taco stuff. And this one I'm super excited about. I've never made it before, um, but it can't be that bad, right? It can't be that hard. I mean, if you know how to make tacos, the, the, the thing is though, is you have to be able to make it to where the ground beef doesn't fall. Cause normally with the taco, right? The ground beef falls. So you have to mix stuff with that. So when it cooks, it stays like, you know, almost like a spaghetti pie. You know, when you make a spaghetti pie, you add egg and cheese because then when you cut it, it comes out like it's supposed to. So that's gonna be the trick with this taco pie is you wanna be able to create a pie that when you take it out, it doesn't like fall off. So that's for Wednesday. So for Thursday, I'm gonna make a creamy broccoli cheddar soup. Um, when I was on live not too long ago, everybody was asking me, hey, make your broccoli soup. And I'm like, well, I just did, but that's okay. So what's wonderful about the broccoli soup is not only do you have the broccoli, but I like to get those bags of like broccoli slaw and carrots that are matchstick carrots and then also um, radishes that are like matchsticks, they're really thin. I like to add all that into the soup because broccoli cheddar soup is broccoli and cheddar. Now there are some people that will add, you know what, I'm gonna do that because the ham, I'm gonna have leftover ham, maybe. Maybe I might just have to take some ham away. And I think I'll do a broccoli cheddar and ham soup because I wanna add some more protein to it because normally a broccoli cheddar soup is broccoli and, and, and cheese, like, like it's a cheesy soup. But I like to add more stuff to it because I got a hardworking family and I can't just serve broccoli and cheese. <laughs> they have to have substance. So I think I'm gonna add ham to it. So it's gonna be a broccoli, ham and cheddar soup, broccoli, cheese soup. So a broccoli, ham and cheese, a, a cheesy broccoli, a cheesy ham and broccoli soup, there we go. So let's do cheesy broccoli ham, cheesy broccoli and ham soup. A broccoli and ham cheesy, I'm not really sure how to write that. Um, so I'm gonna use some leftover ham, I'm gonna add all my slaw to it. So let me just tell you, when you guys are cooking, you can make your lives easier. Like sometimes I just don't wanna chop. Sometimes if I'm making something and I don't want the thick veggies, you can go into the store and they have shredded carrots shredded broccoli, shredded cabbage. Like I'll use a cabbage slaw a lot in some things, just like if I'm doing a soup and stuff. So let's say a cheesy broccoli and ham soup, okay? That's what we're gonna, ooh, I'm getting a little, how low can you go? Okay, 
So we're gonna do a cheesy, and I'm gonna say a Z. Cheesy broccoli. I almost forgot if it's two C's or one. And ham soup. And I'm gonna make my buttermilk biscuits. Ooh, with buttermilk. They are so easy. I will leave the recipe for the for the buttermilk um, biscuits too. I'm, maybe I'll even video that so you guys can kind of see it. Biscuits. I'm running out of room. Biscuits. There we go. Does that look like a U? That looks like a no. Anyway, so cheesy broccoli and ham soup with buttermilk biscuits for Thursday. This past Friday, we all went bowling. It was so much fun. I don't know if you guys seen the video of my son, Brendan. Oh my goodness, the kid's hilarious. And we just had so much fun. Just getting together, not worrying about anything, bowling. I did okay, I'm not the best bowler, but like this whole side is sore because of bowling. Like from my head, my boot cheeks, all the way down to my ankle. The whole side is sore, I'm, I don't know if it's just because, but that shouldn't be, oh I guess so, hey, because you go, so maybe I have to go backwards and go, maybe I'll try and bowl like this with my other leg, you know. Um, and so this whole side is sore. It's been sore for four days. And I was talking to Haley this morning. She's like, hey, dad wants to go back bowling on Friday as a family again. And I said, okay, I'm good. So I think what I'm going to do is last time we had eaten here because we had leftovers <laughs> and appetizers. And so we ate here and then we went there and I ordered more appetizers. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reserve two lanes like last week, but then I'm also going to put an order in for pizzas. They make the best pizza at the bowling alley. And so I'm going to put an order ahead of time. So when we get there, we'll already have the pizzas. So on Friday, it's gonna be a family bowling. I might need a stool here. Family bowling. We actually were trying to get a tickets to our hockey game. So our rival, we have a, a, a university up here and they're, they're playing their rival. My husband went on right away because we thought we'd all go to the game, sold out. He goes, well, I guess let's go bowling instead. So bowling it is. And so we're gonna order pizzas. but they do make them homemade. So I'm gonna put homemade. They make their pizzas from scratch. They do the whole throw up in the air, put their own toppings on. So Friday, family bowling night. And I, I would love to break 100, but I don't go enough, I guess. Josh is like, <laughs> he's like, mom, I need a ball that fits my fingers. And that'd be actually a really good Christmas present or a birthday present, because his birthday's coming up. But then like, if we don't go, you have like this big bowling ball. I don't know, I'm trying to be like, excuse me, I'm trying to be unique with my kids' things because as they get older, it's hard to buy things because they have, like you've bought presents for them forever. And so I try and be like real like, like for Valentine's Day, I got the, the greatest things for my kids for Valentine's Day. I gotta actually get going on making those cards, but I have the greatest, greatest things. And so um, I try to be unique, things I know they're gonna use. And, and I've been, I listen to my kids like when they talk, and they mention things, I remember it, and I jot it down. So when it's a birthday time, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this. And David absolutely loved his cowboy stuff. He's been wearing it every day where we go outside to church and stuff. Like, we, well, not outside, like he doesn't just put it on and go outside. But like if we go out to eat or something and he looks so handsome, I'm like, wow, you look. And now I know what jeans to get him because he looks absolutely great in the clothes I got him, the jeans, the shirt, everything. And they fit him so good because he's thick and they fit him so good. So anyway, we're gonna do our Friday bowling night and then we're gonna order pizzas. So for the last one, it's a series that I have wanted to start forever. Now that things have calmed down, it's time to start it. So on Saturday, it's gonna be my first ever Dollar Tree meal for our huge family, plus then some. Cause I've been, I've been feeding more than 10 people every day. I've been feeding anywhere from 12 to 14 people every day. And I don't care, that's fine, because I know one day I'm gonna be cooking for me and my husband. I mean, I don't know, do you think there'll be a day where I'll just be cooking for the two of us? Or do you think somebody's always gonna be here? Actually, it's been more than that because all the kids have had a friend, so I'm gonna say I've been cooking for 14 to 16 people. Whew, good thing appetizers go a long way. <laughs> so on Saturday is gonna be my first ever Dollar Tree dinner for our big family. I don't know what it's gonna be yet because I wanna go, I'm gonna walk around, and I, I'm gonna go and make a video of it, but I'm gonna walk around, see what they have, look in the refrigerator section, so I don't know yet. So Saturday is gonna be our Dollar Tree 
dinner. And I think I'm gonna make a dessert too. I'm gonna push the limits. So not only am I gonna do a Dollar Tree dinner, I'm gonna actually find stuff to do dessert. If I could do a full dinner and dessert for like under, let's see, Josh, you made that pizza thing, it was $19. So my goal, it was like 1997. So my goal is to beat 1997. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. I do have a couple ideas just from being in there from that first grocery haul I did a while ago. Um, and I am gonna be doing another Dollar Tree grocery haul. Um, there's a lot of things that my kids liked that they would grab as a snack or grab as like a fast, like maybe on the weekends when I don't cook as well sometimes or I don't cook till later. Um, they grab and do, and so they pretty much clean me out of a lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree, but I still have other things. So I wanna make sure that the other things I wanna get there are gone before I do it. So I'm assuming my Dollar Tree haul is gonna probably be probably a, another week at least. Cause I, you know, I don't wanna just go and keep stacking up on food. Like I know I've told you guys this over and over and over. I'm just trying to be very conscious um, and very frugal of our shopping. And over the holidays, man, I, sh I felt like I was at the grocery store every day, but it wasn't cause of me. Like people are like, oh, Heather, she's starting a grocery shop like everybody else. It wasn't me. Like I got everything I needed for Christmas. And then I got everything I needed after the holidays so as to eat good. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. My husband was like, hey, let's do this. Can you make this? Hey, let's have a party. Let's do this. And I'm like, so people are like, oh, Heather, she's starting a grocery shop all the time and, and all that money's gone to her head. I read, I read. I don't feel like I've changed much, but whatever. <laughs> um, so I just wanna tell you for the record, it wasn't Heather going over and over to the grocery store over the holidays. I had a plan, it was written down, I got enough. When I went my Christmas, I got stuff for the New Year's Eve, I got all that. So, just saying, just saying. So, to finish it off, Dollar Tree dinner and desserts on Saturday, and now it's time to decorate the board, all springy. So the menu is all done, and so just to give you a little thing on the Dollar Tree dessert dinner, I'm only gonna use stuff I find at the Dollar Tree. So. I'm not sure what to do about the spices, but they do have spices there. So I wanna strictly make a, a dinner that's just Dollar Tree stuff. Not, okay, I found beans, but then I'm gonna grab hamburger from the freezer. I want it to strictly be Dollar Tree. So I know that they have a refrigerator section. I've glimpsed over it. And um, it's not like the healthiest stuff. So I'm not, I don't, I didn't notice like ground beef or, or I noticed chicken, but not ground beef. Um, so I don't know, I mean, we'll see, I guess, right? We'll see. And so here's my menu. And then I was like looking for my markers. I'm like, I'm doing purple and yellow. Where are they? In my pocket. So I like to add a little personality to my board just because I feel like it kind of like, you know, I don't know, makes it like more appealing. I don't know. I, I really don't have a reason for it. I just want it to look pretty. So I decided to do the yellow and purple. I don't know why I'm looking up there. I'm reading my signs is what I'm, I'm reading these over and over instead of looking at you guys. So I just like to do like, oh man, here we go. I had them up too much. Okay, so we're just gonna make a little designs here. I might have to go over a couple of them because I kind of had them in my pocket. Oh, there we go. Now it's coming out. Let's do this one again. So I just do like little squigglies, nothing exciting, just to add a little character. A little sunshine, a little sunshine. It has a whole thing of pastels. Um, I'm super excited to try them. I had the, uh, I had ordered a huge bucket of them. Um, I guess it wasn't a bucket, it was a box. And it was like, I think $14, but they, um, they dried up right away. I was kind of disappointed with it. But they're not as like nice and springy. Oh my goodness, this is, I guess I can't talk and make squigglies at the same time. All right, and so we're gonna add a couple of little circles, little purple circles. I mean, you can do all, if you guys wanna add a little bit more, you can, but these are on Amazon. Speaking of Amazon, I am so sick of going on TikTok and every single video is shop, shop, TikTok shop, Try this. Don't forget to put in my code. I actually had somebody tell me, you know, you need to do that. Like you can, you know, share things that you love and have a little bit of money. Yeah, I don't want to do that though. I want to just like share stuff with your organic stuff. It's been so nice not doing campaigns. Oh, so nice. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so I had a little character to it. So let's go over before we get done. We'll kind of go over it again. All right, here it is. Sunday, huge burger bar with sides. Monday, Haley made burgers and used all the leftovers. Tuesday, ham with creamy garlic mashed potatoes, carrots, and a dessert. Wednesday, cast iron taco pie. Thursday, cheesy broccoli and ham soup with buttermilk biscuits. On Friday, we're going to be going bowling and we're going to order homemade pizzas. And then on Saturday is my first ever Dollar Tree dinner and desserts. All right, you guys, I actually feel really good to kind of be back doing it this. It does feel better just having order back because we've had three months of craziness. Just every day I had no idea what I was doing, no idea what I was making, no idea where we we're going to be. I mean, it just was crazy. And so now that things are calmed down, it's more relaxed. I can get my life in order because when you have a big family plus six who are at your house every day, it's you, you got to have some kind of order, right? You got to have some kind of order, some kind of, I don't know, like the kids should know what to expect. I mean, everything doesn't have to be like scheduled, but there has to be some kind of order or some just to keep things not to keep them from being so chaotic. Um, so I'm super excited to be back here. I'm super excited to have done this with you guys. Oh, I just want to hug it. I love my board so much. I've missed doing it. And even the kids, like I told you guys in the beginning, they keep her like, when are you going to do the menu? The menu has been blank for two months. I know that. But if I do it, I want to make sure I can commit to it. <laughs> and I feel good. I feel good. And the cookbook's turned in. I I feel happy about that. I got two weeks release relief until they start giving us like red lettering where we have to like, they go over things that they'd like us to change or maybe their ideas and I have to accept it or deny it. So I have to do that, but that gives me two weeks though of, of relaxing. And so I'm super excited. I'm really excited about this because I've been looking forward to doing the Dollar Tree dinner. I know I keep telling you guys, I got I got some new stuff I'm doing. I got some new stuff I'm doing. And I'm really excited about that because I'm trying to challenge myself to, to get out of the big box, to get out of what I'm always comfortable making. I'm trying to you know do more recipes. And I have to tell you guys, in literally three days, Four of my kids have messaged me four or five recipes they want me to try. And Brendan, and listen, Super Bowl, I'm very sad that Detroit's not in there. I'm happy that Casey is in, but I'm not happy because I'm still a little tired of all of it. <laughs> and so I, I just plan, I said, told Haley, I said, you know what? You, Madison, and Izzy make a dessert. We'll order pizzas or we'll buy pizzas and cook them in the oven. She's like, perfect. So then this morning, Brendan goes, hey, mom, did you see that video I sent you? I go, what video? I sent you a video, a really cool thing we could do for the Super Bowl. And I'm like, oh, I just really want to do something easy so I'm not in the kitchen. So now I got to check that out and see what it is. So now my simple is probably going to be super cool, but super uh, requiring lots of work. <laughs> darn it, darn it, darn it. I wanted to go simple. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for joining me. In the comments, make sure you put down what you would like me to make next week. So when I make the board, I'm going to try and push for the board on Sunday. If it wasn't a big game and it wasn't me not feeling good, I would have had this to you guys two days earlier. So I think what I'll do is, um, how about Saturday? I will read the comments and I will write down ones I think. Now, don't make them too complicated. If they could be simple, but maybe give me ideas of things that I've not made. And then I will search it out, search out just kind of how it go, how it works. And then if my dogs are crazy and then I'll put together something of mama bell style. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm making our first weekly menu back after the holidays. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like to just the bells 10. And then until this summer, I'm going to be singing Haley's going to the chapel and she's gonna get married. All right, thank you so much.